we gather on this Tuesday in the first week of Ordinary Time. Upon a lofty throne I saw a man seated whom a host of angels adore, singing in unison, Behold him, the name whose empire is eternal. We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The peace and grace and love of God be with you. Amen. As we begin our prayer and worship this morning, let us pause a moment, calling to mind those things we may have done in the last day or so, in which we are in need of, in need of forgiveness and reconciliation. Lord Jesus, you come with salvation for all people. Lord, have mercy. You strengthen us in holiness by the word of Scripture we hear, by the Eucharist we share. Christ, have mercy. You send us forth to be your presence of love and mercy in the world. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. And let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, that they may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have seen. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Samuel. Hannah rose after a meal at Shiloh and presented herself before the Lord. At that time, Eli the priest was sitting on a chair near the doorpost of the Lord's temple. In her bitterness, she prayed to the Lord, weeping copiously. And she made a vow, promising, O Lord of hosts, if you look with pity on the misery of your handmaid, if you remember me and do not forget me, if you give your handmaid a male child, I will give him to the Lord for as long as he lives. Neither wine nor liquor shall he drink, and no razor shall ever touch his head. As she remained long at prayer before the Lord, Eli watched her mouth, for Hannah was praying silently. Though her lips were moving, her voice could not be heard. Eli, thinking her drunk, said to her, How long will you make a drunken show of yourself? Sober up from your wine. It isn't that, my lord, Hannah answered. I am an unhappy woman. I have neither wine nor liquor. I was only pouring out my troubles to the Lord. Do not think your handmaid a ne'er-do-well. My prayer has been prompted by my deep sorrow and misery. Eli said, Go in peace, and may the God of Israel grant you what you have asked of him. She replied, Think kindly of your maidservant, and left. She went to her quarters, ate and drank with her husband, and no longer appeared downcast. Early in the next morning they worshipped before the Lord and then returned to their home in Ramah. 
when Elkanah had relations with his wife Hannah, the Lord remembered her. She conceived, and at the end of her term, bore a son whom she called Samuel, since she had asked the Lord for him. The word of the Lord. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. My heart exalts in the Lord. My horn is exalted in my God. I have swallowed up my enemies. I rejoice in my victory. The bows of the mighty are broken, while the tottering gird on strength. The well-fed hire themselves out for bread, while the hungry batten on spoil. The barren wife bears seven stuns, while the mother of many languishes. The Lord puts to death and gives life. He casts down the netherworld. He raises up again. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He humbles and he also exalts. He raises the needy from the dust. From the dung heap he lifts up the poor to seat them with nobles and make a glorious throne their heritage. Alleluia, alleluia. Receive the word of God, not as the word of men, but as it truly is, the word of God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus came to Capernaum with his followers, and on the Sabbath he entered the synagogue and taught. The people were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. In their synagogue was a man with an unclean spirit. He cried out, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Quiet, come out of him. The unclean spirit convulsed the man and with a loud cry came out of him. All were amazed and asked one another, What is this? A new teaching with authority. He commands even the unclean spirits and they obey him. And Jesus' fame spread throughout the whole region of Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. If we were to uh, paraphrase uh, what the people who experienced uh, Jesus in this Gospel reading Uh, might have said in in maybe more contemporary words, wow, look at that guy, huh? And what were they seeing? They were impressed because they were seeing and hearing something that was very authentic, something that really spoke to their hearts and spoke to their everyday lives. To hear Jesus speaking about the love of God for them, to see Jesus healing a person who was very ill, showing compassion, uh, showing uh, mercy to this person. Wow, look at this person. What a great person he is. Look at the way God's uh, mercy and love is expressed in his words and in his actions. Well, we have wow moments in our own lives, too. You know, we see things, we hear things, we experience things that hopefully bring us to say, wow, 
I see the presence of God in that person, in those words, in that action. And we come to the Eucharist so that we might be nourished and encouraged and strengthened uh, to be wow moments in the lives of other people. So let us pray as we continue our Eucharist that one, we will recognize, we will look for, and we will appreciate uh, those, those moments, those expressions, those words, those actions of other people that give us hope, that uh, strengthen our faith, and that we will be the same in the lives of others. Let us bring our prayers before God. We pray for the grace of God in our own lives that we may be, like Jesus, expressions of the mercy and the love of God into the lives of others, we pray. We pray in thanksgiving for all those who have touched our lives, we pray. We continue to pray for all those who are ill, especially those who suffer from coronavirus, and for all those who care for them. We pray. We pray for all those who have experienced uh, terrible weather, those who have experienced uh, the tragedy of fire, the loss of homes and loved ones. We pray. Let us pause for a moment to call to mind those other prayers that we bring with us today. For these we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For Hannah Rotha and for all we've promised to hold in our prayers this day, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. O gracious and holy God, receive these prayers of your people strengthen us in holiness, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. We bless you, Lord God of creation, through your goodness. We have this bread to offer which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us our spiritual food. Blessed are you, Lord God of creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, the fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that our offering may be acceptable to God the Almighty. May our gifts, O Lord, find favor with you, that it may restore us to holiness and obtain what we devoutly ask of you, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. <clears throat> Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created men and women, and when they were justly condemned in mercy, you redeemed them through Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise you, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. And so may our voices join with theirs as in humble praise we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. O oh Lord, you are indeed holy. You are the source of all holiness. And we ask you to make holy these gifts by sending down your spirit upon them that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the cup. Once again, he gave you thanks, and giving it to his disciples, he said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Break the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the cup of salvation, giving thanks that you have counted us worthy to be in your presence and to serve you. We pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Paul and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may be co-heirs with them to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Join in our voices, we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we might be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look then not upon our sins, but upon the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us share with those around us some sign of the peace of Christ. <clears throat> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, happy and blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Humbly we ask you, almighty God, be graciously pleased to grant that those you renew with your sacraments may also serve you with lives pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may the blessing of God come upon you and remain with you always the blessing of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Our Mass has ended. Let us go forth in the peace and love of God.